Hey guys, so welcome to another video on our Sam's AWS learning series. Uh, and uh, today we are going to talk about security groups. Security groups, uh, it acts as a virtual firewall that controls all the traffic for uh, one or more instance. So you have that uh, logical grouping and uh, you can define your own you know, custom firewall uh, rules. And uh, when you launch an instance, you associate one or more security groups with the instance. So one single instance can be associated with a uh, one or more security groups there are no restrictions as such and uh, you add rules to each security group that allow traffic to or from its associated instance and uh, you can modify the rules uh, for a security group at any point uh, point in time the new rules are automatically applied to all instances that are associated with security groups there are no delay actually uh, the moment you uh, decide to you know allow a port number or uh, uh, yeah, uh, try to open a new port number on the security group. Uh, the change takes effect immediately. There is no delay at all. When we decide whether to allow traffic to reach an instance, we uh, evaluate all the rules from all the security groups that are associated with an instance. That's how you anticipate or that's how you calculate that instance uh, uh, status. What are the you know traffics allowed and uh, what what's uh, defined to you know uh, reach that instance. And that being said, let me you know quickly go to the console. So I'm here in my console. I'll have to navigate to EC2. And then on your left hand side, you will find uh, security groups right under network and security. Click on that. So uh, I could see you know two different uh, security groups. The one which I've uh, created explicitly uh, for uh, uh, I mean in a lab session and this is the you know default one so all the you know accounts it will have a default uh, security groups which is associated with your uh, default vpc so let's see what's inside that and uh, the inbound traffic uh, it's allowing all the you know uh, inbound traffic uh, and this is the you know source i think this is uh, yeah and uh, outbound traffic uh, it's allowing all the you know uh, outbound traffic as well so let's you know uh, quickly go uh, ahead and uh, create uh, a security group i'm gonna call this as a demo security group and i'm gonna say demo as description and uh, you have an option to select between your uh, vpcs uh, since we have not created any vpcs explicitly i'm gonna stick with the default one and by default uh, the inbound traffic um, every inbound traffic is you know denied and uh, let me quickly go over here outbound traffic i can see an entry for all traffic it is allowing all the outbound traffic by default so i can uh, go ahead and you know uh, allow this ssh all you need to do is you know select the type and uh, you you will be you know uh, getting the protocol and port range automatically and uh, you can lock it down to a you know custom source uh, if you know the you know ip address you can define that or if you want to you know, lock it down to your local ip yes you can do it and uh, anywhere that will uh, you know open up uh, the connection to all the you know uh, all the sources out there so i'm gonna say create and uh, that's it guys i mean uh, the security group is created and uh, let's take a look at uh, something else here so outbound uh, i mean inbound and outbound now uh, that that are the you know those are the areas where you have the option to you know uh, allow traffic and let me you know quickly uh, do this let me allow rdp so this is the remote desktop uh, connection protocol i'm gonna say uh, anywhere and the moment i click on that uh, that uh, you know uh, rdp uh, connection protocol is uh, available here i mean uh, it will it will be op uh, you know it will be in effect uh, in in no time and uh, the moment i say you know uh, i define anything in uh, inbound section uh, it's going to open up that port number uh, 3389 that's a port number used for rdp that will be allowed uh, in outbound as well so whatever you define uh, in outbound that will have uh, a way back in inbound so it's it's both interconnected and uh, that's why uh, security groups are known as a uh, stateful so the moment you allow port number automatically it will be allowed to go back in and i think um, that's all guys i mean uh, uh, key thing uh, you can associate uh, 
uh, n number of security groups to a single uh, uh, EC2 instance. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Uh, I'll I'll see you in the next one.